Nearly 40 years old, the Printer's Row Lit Fest is the largest free outdoor literary showcase in the Midwest, mm -hmm. and it attracts over 100,000 visitors every year. Here with more on this year's festival, Printer's Row Lit Fest program director Amy Danzer and author Jonathan Ike. Thank you both for being here. So it's coming nice. up next weekend, over two days. Yeah. How many authors are we talking about? How many books? How many, what, what, give us the lowdown on Lowdown, it. the skinny. Mm. So we've got over 200 participants involved in programming. So mm -hmm. it's like 75 plus programs from 10 a.m. each day till 6 p.m. So full full load. Um, and we've got uh, like over 100 exhibitors mm -hmm. along like South Dearborn Street and Polk. It, we take over like five blocks in the mm -hmm. Printers Row neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, so, and we've got something for everyone. We've got poets and novelists and journalists like John. Mm -hmm. um, we have children's programming. I heard something about children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's so me. So we've got uh, a storybook parade. We've got a bubbles and bookmarks dance party happening, a scavenger hunt. Oh, uh, so cool. Yeah, drag story time, um, a read along and draw along. So just lots of fun something stuff. For yeah, everyone. yeah. So acclaimed author Jonathan Eig is going to be one of the authors featured. Um, how does it feel to have this type of support in this type of festival about you? Well, Chicago's a great book town. It's, the Lit Fest has been a staple of this community for a long time, and I've spoken there and been on panels many times over the years, and it's always exciting, and it, I always learn new things from the authors there, too. All right, so you're out with a new book, King of Life. Uh, this is a heavily researched book. You were telling me six years of research six went into. Six years, yeah. Oh, so we've, there's been so many books out there about Dr. King, um, about the movement, the man, his family, everything. How does this break ground? Well, first of all, I was able to interview hundreds of people, including lots of people who knew King personally. Okay. And we hadn't had a King biography in almost 40 years. Okay. And in the course of the time that's gone by, we've turned him into a monument and a national holiday, things that he deserves, but we've also lost sight of him as a human being. Okay. So I wanted to write a more intimate book, a book that made you feel his pain, that made you see what he was going through, Ooh. how much he was sacrificing. Uh, I even discovered, as in reference to your <laughs> earlier segment, what side of the bed he slept on. Yes, you he was a right side of the bed. Yeah. So I wanted to write a book that helped people feel like they could connect to him because when we turn our heroes into superheroes yes. we can't relate to them at yes, all absolutely. king was a man yes yes yeah. a flawed man too exactly but that's kind of a double-edged sword there right to kind of you know a hero is as an actual human being that did make some mistakes as tanya mm -hmm. said because he was flawed so what's kind of the feedback that you've been getting so far i was a little nervous about how people would feel about seeing that this man who we sometimes treat as a saint had flaws, but it's actually had the opposite effect. It's made people love him more, I think. Mm -hmm. The Make reception of the book has been really warm because I think people feel like he's human and we're all human. We all make mistakes and we all have doubts. We all have moments of, of struggle and he did too. So Amy, when you have an author like Jonathan mm -hmm. come out and mm -hmm. talk about the books, I imagine that has just has to like raise the level of interest in the Lit Fest. Oh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got Scoop Jackson, who's going to be interviewing John, which is incredible. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, and this is how many you've been to the fest, participating in the fest, like at least six or seven yeah. times. Yeah. Okay. And, so, and Scoop is, is a okay. great interviewer, is a okay. good friend, and we're going to have a really good time. And you're going to want to hear his point of view, too, because oh. he'll have a lot to say. Oh, OK. And the best part is that, I mean, to mention again, this is free event. Free admission, yes. Okay. Books are not free. <laughs> right. No, right. This is an opportunity to get out and buy a book because a lot of people yeah. are on onto their pads oh. and they're scrolling mm -hmm. through. But yeah. I think there's nothing like actually picking up a book mm -hmm. yes. and turning the pages and looking at the words. Yeah. Screen fatigue. And yeah. I guess Jonathan is going to be a big draw, but some other big you know interviews are going to be happening too, right? Absolutely. We've got um, we've got Pulitzer Prize winning authors um, Tolu Olin Nuripa mm -hmm. and Robert Samuels who will be headlighting the festival. Mm -hmm. Um, they have a book out right now called, um, his name is George Floyd, and mm -hmm. they'll be in conversation with uh, WBEZ's Natalie Moore. Um, we got Jack Bender to come to the festival, so he's the director of TV shows like Game of Thrones, wow. Lost, uh, Sopranos, okay. Ally McBeal. I mean, he's just done it all, you yeah. know, a lifetime of writing and, and directing. Um, and he has a children's book that's coming out this fall, and so he'll be there kind of promoting that, but also talking about writing. 
Um, we have um, Jenna Friedman, who is a comedian. She's very like feminist and political, mm -hmm. hilarious, and um, she has a collection of essays out right now called Not Funny. Um, she was just like on the Conan O'Brien okay. show. She's incredible, and so she'll be interviewed by Lindsay Hunter. Um, okay. If you want me to keep on, yeah, no, we, we, we got it. We well, are people already. People want to know they can yeah. go to your website. Exactly, right. we are intrigued. The website is printersrowlitfest.org. Also, Jonathan has a uh, website as well, Jonathan Ig E I G. Uh, dot com. Thank you both so much for being with us.